stinking adorable packaging. I mean, I can't even deal. That is so cute. And it says shades like a leading $50 eyeshadow palette. Wonder what that could be. Hey guys, welcome back. So we've got another new at the drugstore haul and first impressions video. This is basically like part three, third edition, whatever you want to call it. And this one is by far the most ridiculous because I found quite a few things. But this is going to be the last one of these like haul first impression type videos because at this point I'm going to now get into reviews, lip swatch videos, some get ready with me's using a lot of these products just so you can see them in action and get some reviews on them. So yeah, but this video is going to be another haul and first impressions and just kind of first look at these products. So let's jump into it. Okay, starting with Ulta. So NYX has a ton of new products out and I actually didn't go crazy with all their new products. I only got four things and I picked out their um, some of their new soft matte lip cream colors. I think they have maybe seven of them. I swatch them all on my Instagram. I stood there at the little display like taking pictures of my arm and taking pictures of the display. So I do have a picture of all the shades on my Instagram, but I just grabbed four of them. I got um, Madrid, which is a really pretty kind of like dark red sort of a shade. This one is Seal, which is kind of like a purpley pink, really pretty. I've already worn these two. I'm gonna do a lip swatch video of these so that you guys can see them on my lips, so that's why I'm not gonna swatch them right now. This one is Rome, really pretty kind of like, I don't know, warm brown color. And then this one is Budapest, which is really similar to Rome, but maybe just a little bit more red. I love these, so I'm excited about the new shades. So there's another cushion foundation. I was really excited to find this. I actually found this at CVS. This is the Physicians Formula Mineral Wear Cushion Foundation. And it's basically another cushion foundation with stinking adorable packaging. I mean, I can't even deal. That is so cute. It says all-in-one ABC airbrushing, blurring, and correcting. And it's SPF 50, which is really nice. So I'll use this in a get ready with me or something like that so that you can see it in action. And I got it in light. And Maybelline came out with a new foundation and also a little blending sponge. This is the Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. And I got it in 05 Warm Porcelain. I had no clue what color to get. It's like really hard to tell because it's in the squeezy tube and you can't see the actual product. So I just guessed, but I went with the lightest color because sometimes the lighter shades in Maybelline foundations are still sort of dark on my skin tone. So I went with this color and that's what I'm wearing right now. And it works really well, so the color at least. So I'm still forming opinions on what I think about this foundation. First impressions, I don't know. I like the way it looks at the beginning, but it really hasn't been lasting very well on my skin. Um, so I don't know. I'm gonna try it out a little bit more. I will include this in Get Ready With Me or something like that so you can see it in action. But you can see it on my skin right now. I think it looks nice at the beginning, but it just hasn't been lasting very well. And then the little blender, it's basically like a little beauty blender on a little handle, you know? And it's dirty, I've been trying it out, but I don't know what I think about this guy either. It's just not very squishy, so I really don't like this. That's my first impression on this. I really don't like this. It's hard to use, it's just not squishy enough, it takes forever to apply something with it. I'm not that impressed with it. And then another new contour palette in the drugstore. This is the Maybelline Master Contour by Face Studio Face Contouring Kit. So I don't see the color name anymore on this, but this one I think is in light. It was the lighter of the two. But um, I'm wearing this on my face today. First impressions, I do like it. But the bronzer is pretty pinky toned, but that's not always that much of a problem for me because I naturally kind of tan sort of like pinky red. Um, so it really, I don't know, it's just, it's more of a blush bronzer than a full on contouring bronzer. But there they are swatched. I think I'm gonna do like a battle of the drugstore contour kit sort of a video. So I'll show this one, the L'Oreal one, um, the Wet n Wild one, and there's something else I'm forgetting. Oh, the Rimmel ones. So I'll do a video on that so that you can kind of like see them all in comparison and I'll let you know which ones are my favorites. But there's that one, first impressions. I like it, I think it's nice. And then these are really fun and exciting. These are the CoverGirl True Naked palettes and it says shades like a leading $50 eyeshadow palette. Wonder what that could be. 
we all know. But this one is in Golden, so I'm wearing this one on my eyes today. This one is in Nudes. This one's kind of like more of a cool toned, naked too, sort of a look. This one I got in my Influencer box for free. This one is in Roses. And this one's kind of like Naked 3. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do a video on these, swatching them all, comparing them against each other, but then also comparing them to the Naked palettes. So yeah, you can watch for that. And then I couldn't resist, I got two more of these L'Oreal eyeshadows, the Color Riche eyeshadows. This one is in Grand Blue. And it's just a gorgeous blue shade. I mean, it's like kind of a, it's pretty much a navy, but it's sort of a little bit bright too. And then this one is Teal Couture. Is that what it is? Yeah, Teal Couture. I mean, what? Oh my gosh. These are so nice. Are those not beautiful? Yes. Love them. I just, I don't know, I was feeling like some colorful, jewel toned shadows. So yeah, I got those at Walgreens. So they're starting to pop up different places, which is exciting. And then also at Walgreens, I grabbed another one of these Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquids. This one is in the shade 50 Possessed Plum, just a really pretty dark plummy shade. I have a picture um, wearing this, I think on my Instagram. I know I put it on my Snapchat, but I'm pretty sure I did it on my Instagram too. It's just really, really pretty. This one does apply a little bit patchy. I notice it in the swatch, but also on my lips. It's a little bit patchy when I apply this one, but I was able to kind of like even it out for the most part. I just think it's a really pretty dark plum shade. I really do enjoy this color. It's just kind of like that, you know, cooler winter months. I like these sort of dark shades, so had to pick this one up. And then Maybelline has this new eyeliner pencil. This is the Master Precise Skinny automatic pencil. It says 1.8 millimeter micro tip, always sharp, smooth gel intensity. And I got it in Defining Black. I do have this on my tight line today. First impressions, don't put it in your tight line if you wear contacts like me. It just, it's getting on my contacts and I have like a fog over this one. But it's really cute packaging. I love the pink. It's just a really tiny um, pencil. It actually reminds me, it looks a lot like an eyebrow pencil, like the shape of it, like the Anastasia, um, you know, what's it called? Brow Wiz or the micro something something pencil from NYX, but yeah, it's just a really tiny eyeliner. It's a really nice black shade. Feels creamy, feels nice. I think it's easy to work with, um, you know, because it's so tiny, but just I would just be a little bit careful if you wear contacts because it's definitely getting on my contacts, which is a bummer deal, but I have found it to be long wearing. Like as I've tried this out a little bit, it doesn't seem like it like transfers a ton like down on my lower lash line or gets everywhere, except for on my contacts. And then I also got this in my influencer box. This is the CoverGirl O Sugar and this is in the shade Taffy. This is basically like a tinted hydrating lip balm, but it can be built up. You can really build up the color. So I'll show you built up and then I'll also show you like a light swatch of it. And Taffy's a really pretty color. It's kind of like a warm neutrally sort of a shade. So there it is lightly applied and there it is sort of built up. So it definitely looks lighter like in the swatch than it does in the tube, but still, I mean, you can get some good color out of it. It feels really comfortable on the lips. I think it feels really nice and hydrating, very reminiscent of the Fresh um, Sugar Lip Balms. Is that what they're called? Fresh something something? I don't know, you can get them at Sephora. But it's a lot like that. They feel really nice on the lips like those do. And even the scent is pretty similar to that one. It's kind of like that lemony, sort of scent, but if I really sniff on it, yeah, I can still smell the CoverGirl like chemically scent behind the sort of lemony smell. I cannot handle that scent in their regular lipsticks at all. Like I can't even get those lipsticks because the smell gets to me, literally makes me like sick at my stomach. But this one, I really mostly smell that lemony smell. I really have to smell, I really have to be thinking about it to notice that chemically scent, but it's there. It's very mildly there. I don't know what they do to their lipsticks, what that chemically funkiness is, 
but I don't like it. But at least it's very hidden in this one. So I like these and I like this color. I think taffy's a really nice one. Just a good like comfortable, everyday, easy sort of a lip product. And then lastly, Rummel has some new lipsticks. These are called the Only One lipsticks. So I picked up six different shades. So what I'm gonna do is like a little review lip swatch party sort of a video for you guys so that you can see them swatched on my hand, but then also on my lips as well. But first impression, I really do like these. I'm wearing one of them right now. I'm wearing this one, 700 Naughty Nudes. So you can see what that one looks like on my lips. But like I said, I'll do that other video, so that'll be coming up soon. All right guys, so that wraps up this new at the drugstore haul and first impressions video. Like I said, I think this is the last one of these type videos for at least a little bit because now I'm gonna be getting into the reviews, the get ready with me's, using these products, the lip swatch parties, all that kind of fun stuff. So hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you are loving at the drugstore right now. It is like that fun time of year. So I would love to know what you are super excited about Ask me any questions that you have, I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video.